and take the floor a little bit, if you don't mind. And uh, we will start yes. the discussion with... Uh, yeah, I can't... Do that while oh, I grab this ahead. link. Yep. Uh, so here's the deal. Obviously, yesterday we made a video about the ongoing saga between SpaceX and Blue Origin and their competition to be the lunar lander or be selected by NASA. Blue Origin's already been kind of eliminated from the process. They have started a lawsuit and a couple other things where yep. now SpaceX may or may not be kicking sand in their face. And basically, <laughs> this is coming from Market <laughs> Insider, and it basically says, if you can read it right here, sorry to say it, lead engineer at Jeff Bezos, Blue Origin has left to join Elon Musk's SpaceX, who's working on the Blue Origin's moon lander. And now this is pretty cool and sad at the same time because a top engineer decided that it was time to jettison after three years on the job after losing the $2.9 billion contract to SpaceX. Uh, one of Blue Origin's owns decided it was time to leave. And it was Nita Aurora on Monday announced on a LinkedIn post that he was leaving Blue Origin after nearly three years at the company. And he said uh, Friday, August the 13th, Friday the 13th, bad day, I guess, for Jeff Bezos, was the last mm. day, uh, my last day at Blue Origin, he wrote. It was one hell of a ride working with the Lunar Program. Really honored that I got a chance to work with and lead incredibly smart, passionate people over the last three years. Next stop, SpaceX! Exclamation point. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. I'm just going to start the conversation right there because that's that says a lot. That's a lot. What do you think? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, as with companies, we can't we can't be sure really what's going on, uh, uh, why why this one person left the company. But on, on the face of it, if we zoom out and look at the big picture, of course, but now we have engineers, lead engineers, leaving uh, one company to go to a competing company. And in this case, those two companies happen to be leaving Blue Origin and going yeah. to SpaceX. So um, with all the other things going on in the news with, between these two companies, notwithstanding the, the, the billionaires at the head at the top, but... Just everything else going on, it's it's interesting, and the gentleman that made the switch, uh, probably good for his career, which is, I mean, you can't say nothing mm -hmm. about that. Of course, people do that right. all the time. Um, so, uh, but yeah, it's it's it, uh, more hopefully more good news for SpaceX, um, and uh, I'm sure. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure, but maybe we'll maybe we'll hear something on Twitter about it. I don't know. These <laughs> things happen. Well, here, uh, even beyond that, right? Though, and it's just a long line of, of stuff with Blue Origin. They they hit that that two billion dollar mark where they turn around. And they said, "Look, we'll, we'll offer you two billion dollars back in cash, basically oh, yes. yeah. for for where they're going." Then they turn around and they they said, "Hey, we're going to sue you now." You know, it looks like SpaceX is either going to cherry pick, or could this be a, a situation where Jeff Bezos and company didn't have this guy under a non compete? Now, normally, if you're an engineer and you're on top of some of these programs, yeah. right, I would have thought, my, myself personally, I would have been like, hey, let's get this guy under contract. Let's get him locked up. And if he walks out the door, let's make it so he can't work for a competitor for like a year or something, or he can't divulge divulge what we were working on. And, you know, of course. In, in that arena. So it's just interesting yeah. to me. How did that not happen in this case, right? I don't know. I, I mean, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, as far as non-competes go, I mean, we had them in the stuff we used to do too, and I don't know, man. I don't. It's, I don't it's know. one of those I, things I'm you have sure. to ask, right? And and I guess another one is: is this kind of a pound sand moment for for Bezos? And you know, this exit, this this quote, right? This quote from from this part right here, where he says, you know, Friday the Thirteenth is my last day. But he says back at the very really honored and that I got a chance to lead such incredible, smart, passionate people over the next couple of years. Next stop, SpaceX, exclamation point. That's almost, I mean, that's pretty poignant. That says a lot as an employee leaves a place and being like, hey, you know what I was here for and you know I'm, I'm making a bounce and you know I'm going directly across the street. What's the deal with that, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know, man. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, uh, I mean, maybe we won't hear any more about this, but uh, maybe we will, you know, I mean. Okay, so now now what we have to start speculating on, and I'd like to hear from people in the comments below, is what other trade secrets could this guy possibly be dragging along the street with him? Because, hey, lunar landing has to be done in almost a similar fashion to how it was done back in the 1970s. You're not going to re-engineer the entire <clears throat> system. There's got to be some sort of delivery system. There's got to be a capsule. There's got to be some sort of lander. Then they've got to be able to come back and revisit the lander. Because you're not lifting off from space and coming straight home, from the best of my imagination, unless that's what's the new version of Starship or what they're putting out there supposed to do. Correct me if I'm wrong. So, I mean, are we looking at a new birth of technology? Because do you know more about what the actual, you know, the SpaceX solution is? 
I mean, uh, there are some renders. Let me see if I can find them. But there are some renders of Starship. Actually, you could look it up. You could probably look up SpaceX human mm-hmm. landing system. Um, okay, SpaceX. So it's so the name of it is actually what SpaceX what? Well, the competition between the two is the human okay. landing system, part of Artemis. Right. It's part of the Artemis program. Um, but uh, that's, I'm pretty sure that I saw some images of it. Um, hmm. Uh, it, because it looks like a it looks like oh, it a starship. Does. Oh, so it, uh, yeah, that's basically starship what it is. landing. So it's a it's a pretty it's a vertical rocket landing on. So this the is moon. an all in uh, one. And, ah, okay. Uh, it'll need refuel in Earth mm-hmm. orbit. Um, but then yeah, it heads out to okay. the moon and uh, lands like a starship. Lands there you now. go. So it's all in it's all so, encompassing. Uh, but yeah, it's it's. Um, it's if you've looked at the human landing system or some of the some of the things that uh, Jeff or Blue Origin had, they still have some capsule like designs, but it's it's not like it's not like Starship's approach, at least in the at least in some of those renders. Right. But, so yeah. this this is the one that we're basically looking at is the human landing system that is coming up. Uh, hold on a second, it's supposed to be coming up here. Uh, here we go. So this is the actual picture of it. Yes, it looks like a big starship, and that's what I, that was my interpretation of what it was. And it looks like these guys are being. Uh, lowered down via a crane of some some sort of device. So yeah, it looks like this thing's going to make the whole trip as one piece, which, hey, uh, if they get it to work, fantastic. Uh, wondering what, what the overall take's going to be. Uh, this one's got a lot of actually great news in there. Maybe we should put this one in from Space News. And we got one comment. Maybe since they, <laughs> they uh... lost out on the contract, he was able to get out of his own competition. Hey, could have been. Oh, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe the maybe whatever he was oh, doing, yeah, I, depended on was dependent on them winning the contract. And now that there's no work for that, he's like, you know, he's out. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, that won. could be back when, It's hard to see behind the curtain right. sometimes, but yeah, that could be. So one of the when I was working back in the in, the video game industry, there was basically I had a, a non compete contract that said that once if I left the company, I couldn't go work for another racing game company for a period of time. But however, if you were let go from the company, that that actually was dropped. So it was uh, kind of one of those things. So, hey, let us know what you think in the comments below. Like, subscribe, follow, and uh, we'll bring you some other fresh news as this battle continues to heat up. And I'm just waiting to see what the Twitter machine, like you alluded to earlier, of one Elon Musk Mm -hmm. might be releasing. I doubt he's going to go full on sour grapes on this one, but scorched earth is not a policy that he doesn't sometimes uh, take into consideration. So there's that. Hey, I'm done with it. And uh, let's move on.